The bell is a symbol of the city's unity and passion. Ringing tonight's bell, welcome home, Meek Mill, supported by managing owner Josh Harris, owner Michael Rubin, and Philly's own Kevin Hart. When you start to see the facts of the case and you see what's really happened with Meek and, and what's going on with, with a lot of people that are that are in prison and we, we didn't, you know, we know the issues, right, because you hear the issues, but you really started to see them firsthand um, when we started to build this campaign and started to figure out how are we going to help Meek Mill get out of prison. I'm Didier Moraes, I'm a director of Lifestyle at Burke Communications and I am part of Meek Mill's publicity team. Ron Berkowitz, president and CEO of Burke Communications, uh, of course part of Meek Mill's publicity team as well. What we were really tasked with was really kind of breaking down this legal jargon and really kind of breaking it down for the entertainment audience and from there in a way that was digestible, really understandable and from there it kind of spread along and this wasn't just, you know, a, a probation violation, this was an injustice and, and Meek was a victim in this situation. Our biggest goal was to get Meek out of jail. That was the number one, number one goal. You know, he, he really was innocent in the sense, he should not have been there. We still have a long way to go to clear Meek's name and continue to build Meek's brand and to continue to build uh, trust with the community and they understand that Meek is a good person and Meek should be out and Meek should be free because of everything that was uncovered through legal and PR. We really just brought it down to the facts like, hey, these are the two situations that Judge Brinkley is using to lock him up, but both of them were dismissed. And again, at the simple core of it, popping a wheelie, and he wasn't involved in an altercation, but he was protecting a friend of his that was attacked. People, people always think of Meek Mill the rapper, right? But people forget that Meek is a son, Meek is a father, you know, Meek is a family man, there's so many more dynamics and at the end of the day we, we really just wanted to show people, remember like don't think of him as, as Meek Mill the rapper incarcerated, it's Meek Mill Robert Williams the person. When we saw the Philadelphia Eagles rally around his music, and that happened so organically, I think that was such a beautiful moment because that really, um, and I mean, it touched Meek as well. That's actually what prompted one of the first public statements out of Meek was like he really felt the love. I think socially, you know, social media wise, it was, it was, it was a big deal across the board. But a lot of the chatter on social media for the last six months really helped, and, and helped Meek too, because he could see some of that stuff. I think almost every time a celebrity went and visited Meek, it was trending on, on Twitter. James Harding, uh, Malcolm Jenkins, Ben Simmons, Joel, Joel Embiid, Embiid, Markel Fultz, all these athletes visited him. Philadelphia 76ers co-owner and kinetic CEO of Michael Rubin, I mean, real close friends with Meek and he has that, um, you know, position and the connections where he, he went off the bat and he went all in. You saw how passionate he was and he got his circle passionate about it. And that's ultimately why you saw over time people like Robert Kraft, who, you know, who had met Meek in the past through Michael, Kevin Hart as well, that um, really wanted to show their support. And I think first and foremost, that's really a testament to Michael's passion and it was really contagious um, that he brought everybody in. But um, when it came to the Sixers and the Eagles, that was, that was all organic love and that was really beautiful to see. And the more people that are talking about the problem for us and the media world, the, the better. I mean, that's what really gets the issues moving. And that's, and that's really, I think, the biggest hit that the celebrities made. They talk about it and when they're talking about it, everyone wants to talk about it. What we hope comes out of this is that there's, there's thousands of Meek Mills, but they're not Meek Mill, right? They don't have the, they don't have Rock Nation, they don't have Michael Rubin, they don't have us, but there's thousands of people out there that need help. Meek understands the responsibility that he has. You know, I think that's something that even out the, he said it while he was incarcerated, but even out the gate that is like, he wants to, you know, use the negative situation that took place for him and flip that into a positive and really, you know, become that, that change agent for change, for, for social justice. A lot of these laws and policies are made to keep most of these minorities trapped forever. I had eight years of probation, it turned to 16 years of probation. Something is not working.